The study of music can be one of the most valuable steps in your child's education. Current research shows that playing an instrument increases brain development and along with developing responsibility, mental discipline, teamwork, and self-esteem. It will also provide enjoyment while fostering a lifetime of appreciation of music and the other arts. Hi, this is Jim Beck, the band director at PCA Providence. Providence will be offering beginning band to 6th through 8th grade students this following year. The classes will be held Monday through Friday. Beginning band will offer flute, clarinet, alto saxophone, trumpet, trombone, and percussion. Year two of band will offer oboe, bassoon, French horn, euphonium, and tuba that students may switch after the first year of beginning band. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at jbeck at pcabosier.org. Please watch the following demonstration about the beginning band instruments and the document also attached. Start with the flute. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Pam Daniels and this is a flute. The flute is one of the highest pitched instruments in the band. While it is a woodwind instrument, flutes are usually made of metal. This one is made of gold and silver. The sound is created by blowing across a small hole in the head joint here and pressing down these keys to change the notes. In a band, flutes often sit in the front and get to play many different styles of music, from beautiful, slow, lyrical melodies like you just heard, to fast, technical show pieces like this. I'm Staff Sergeant Joel Clanky, and this is the clarinet. The clarinet also uses a reed, but unlike the oboe's reed, it doesn't actually make any sound by itself. But when you attach it to the mouthpiece and put the mouthpiece on the instrument, it sounds like this. The clarinet is known for its warm, rich tone color, and it's also known for its ability to play extremely softly. Another thing that makes the clarinet special is that many composers wrote some of their greatest music for the clarinet. So if you play this instrument, you'll get to play some amazing music that's really fun to play. That's the clarinet. Hi everyone, I'm Sergeant First Class Brian Sakawa, and this is the saxophone. The saxophone was invented by Belgian instrument maker Adolf Sax to combine the power of the brass with the agility of the woodwinds. I think the saxophone is one of the coolest instruments, and I actually started playing it in fourth grade because I had a friend who was taking private saxophone lessons, and he was like the coolest guy in the world. So I had to be like him. Other than being really cool, one of my favorite things about the saxophone is its beautiful tone. 
Now, the other thing I love about the saxophone is its versatility. I can play in any type of band, a concert band, a marching band, an orchestra, a rock band, and of course, a jazz band. Hello, I am Staff Sergeant Kevin Paul, and this is the trumpet. The trumpet is a member of the brass family. Like all brass instruments, the trumpet uses a mouthpiece, and you play the trumpet by buzzing your lips into it. When you put the mouthpiece into the trumpet, it sounds like this. The trumpet is known for playing bugle calls and fanfares. And also for its powerful heroic character. Another thing that makes the trumpet great is its versatility. It can play soft and lyrical passages. Hello, I'm Master Sergeant Aaron Cattermas, and this is the trombone. It has a cup-shaped mouthpiece, just like all the other brass instruments, and it sounds like this. When you put the mouthpiece back in the horn, the trombone sounds like this. The biggest difference between the trombone and all the other instruments is the slide. Everyone else has to push some kind of button to change the pitches, while the trombone player moves the slide in and out. When a trumpet player, for instance, pushes down on one of his or her valves, the length of the trumpet changes because the valves are routing air through longer or shorter tubes. The trombone slide literally makes the horn longer or shorter, and you can actually see it happening. Here's a funny little tune that demonstrates the slide very well. Another way to change notes on brass instruments is by making the lips buzz faster or slower, which is done mostly by changing airspeed and embouchure. By changing how fast your lips buzz, you can play many different notes on the same fingering, or in my case, in the same slide position. Since brass instruments are well suited to playing loud, exciting music, I'll end with something you just might recognize. And that's the trombone.
Sergeant Andy Emmerich, and this is the snare drum. The snare drum is one of the primary non-pitched instruments of the percussion family. It's a type of membranophone, meaning you strike a membrane or a drum head to create the sound. The snare drum has two heads and a set of snares on the bottom. So here's the top head and the bottom. And the snares run along the bottom head to create the characteristic sound. Although we don't play pitched notes on the snare drum like other instruments, we can use rolls, ornaments, and dynamics to create musical phrases. The bells, also called the glockenspiel, are an example from the pitch side of the percussion family. Plastic or metal-headed mallets are used to strike the steel bars. Here are two contrasting examples of what could be played on the bells. And that's percussion. Thank you for watching the United States Army Field Band Instrument Demonstration Video. For other educational resources, including instructional videos and reference recordings, please visit armyfieldband.com. <laughs>